Good day to all of you. Welcome to this webinar on the Huygens stitching and deconvolution wizard. My name is Vincent Schoonderwoord and I'm one of the imaging specialists here at SVI. Today I will give an overview of the stitching options offered in Huygens. In addition, I will give a sneak peek of a solution which combines stitching and fusion of multi-view images, such as those acquired with light sheet microscopy. During this webinar, you can submit questions using the question form on the right-hand side of our webinar page on the SVI website. At the end of the webinar, we will try to answer the questions that were submitted. If there is not sufficient time to answer your question, we will get back to you via email. When imaging a biological sample, like a cute little mouse, this sample may fit in the field of view and you may be happy with the detail you're imaging. However, other larger objects may be too big to be captured with the same field of view. You can then decide to acquire multiple overlapping images that together will include the complete object, which after stitching becomes one single image. When imaging at higher resolution, higher numerical aperture lenses are typically used in microscopy that have a higher magnification and a smaller field of view. By imaging more tiles, according to, for example, a row snake layout, as is shown here, you can capture the complete object at high detail. Stitching of the tile images is done with dedicated software that ideally merges these tiles into one artifact-free image. The Huygens Stitcher Wizard was released around spring 2014 at an early stage in its development. This was done with the aim to receive user feedback and to customize the stitcher to the user's needs. Since then, we've continuously added new features using the user's input. Here's a selection of the main features of the stitching wizard. For a more complete overview, I like to refer you to our Stitcher Wizard webpage. The Huygens Stitcher Wizard can stitch 2D, 3D, multi-channel and time series. Huygens poses no limit to file size and tile numbers. There's optimal automated registration of the tiles in X, Y and in Z. And tiles with even 0% overlap can be stitched. We also have vignetting correction tools included in the Stitcher Wizard. And there is the option to include also a deconvolution step of the tiles before they are actually being stitched. Both the registration and deconvolution greatly benefit from the implemented GPU acceleration. Then regarding file formats, Huygens will recognize CZI from Zeiss, Leica Lif, Delta Vision, Nikon, ND2, and Olympus OIR files if they contain tile information. Also, the layout of the tiles will be automatically read from these files. Any series of tile, tile images of, of TIFF can be read in as a tile series and the layout can be customized within the Stitcher Wizard. All other files can be used with the Stitcher Wizard if the position information is known and supplied as an XML file. The latest additions are that we now support stitching of tile images from the Zeiss Airy Scan and tile and multi-view images from the Zeiss Z1 Lightsheet. Also, you can now save stitched images into different data types. The stitching and deconvolution wizard should not be confused with the current light sheet fusion wizard, with which multiple views can be fused into a single image to address typical light sheet imaging artifacts like light scattering and absorption. I like to emphasize that we've recently developed a new 3D interactive fusion tool 
with which in the very near future you will be able to stitch and fuse LightSheet datasets. At the end of this webinar, I would like to show you an example dataset. Upon opening an image with the Huygens stitcher, the tile layout can either be read from the commercial file formats, be defined with custom patterns in the wizard, and be included as an XML file. The next step in the wizard is the registration, which is done for every tile with respect to its neighbors using a cross-correlation approach. This will then lead to an optimal fit in 3D of all the tiles. In the past, we've observed many issues related to stitching. A common issue is the doubling of objects in the overlapping regions of tiles, as you can see in this brain tissue sample. You can probably imagine that any type of analysis and tracing of neurons is severely hampered in such data. In addition, striping issues may appear in the overlapping regions as an artifact. With our automated alignment in Huygens, we aim at preventing these issues. Any possible misalignment that still occurs is frequently due to a not properly defined overlap. Shown here is an example of 13% overlap where there is not a perfect alignment. Huygens offers the possibility to manually fine-tune the percentage of overlap so that the automated alignment can be used at its fullest potential. In this example, adjusting the overlap setting to 7% resulted in an improved stitching result. After tile registration, the wizard offers the user the possibility to correct for any vignetting and to increase the contrast and resolution by including a deconvolution step. The vignetting correction is a step that needs to be applied to the single tiles before the actual stitching. It is also preferred to apply the deconvolution on the single tiles and not on the stitched image so that the computational workload is kept to a minimum. Vignetting is an imaging artifact caused by an uneven illumination of the field of view. It is present in each single tile, but just not easy to recognize in a single tile. By contrast, after stitching, the vignetting in each tile becomes clearly visible and appears as an array of shading. The vignetting correction option in the Huygens Stitching and Deconvolution Wizard offers in fact two approaches. One is the manual approach, where a dark field and flat field image need to be recorded and loaded. The automatic setting allows the user to select the vignetting model and the profile of intensity. Each channel can be selected or deselected for vignetting correction. Here is a two-channel dataset, which clearly shows vignetting artifacts after stitching, whereas the stitched version automatically corrected for vignetting in Huygens does not, which is shown on the right side here. Another example is this four-channel image of the cortex of a mouse embryo. Next to vignetting correction, there is the option to deconvolve the tiles before they are actually being stitched. This can be done by loading the common mic Huygens microscopy parameter template and deconvolution template file during one of the stages in the stitcher wizard. I think I do not need to address with this audience the need of deconvolution if you are interested in high resolution detail and high contrast in stitched images. Within the Stitcher Wizard workflow, the vignetting correction and deconvolution step can also be omitted. The next step in the stitching and the deconvolution wizard is the actual stitching. The stitching and deconvolution wizard has been optimally designed to make the workflow as easy as possible 
And with the wizard help window, the information that is provided guides users through each step in the wizard workflow. The optimal Stitcher workflow also ensures a minimum use of the computer resources, making the stitching computational very efficient. Furthermore, the registration of the tiles and the deconvolution benefit from efficient CPU use and GPU acceleration. So, what file size and tile numbers can be loaded in Huygens? Well, this is in fact unlimited. The hardware will be the rate limiting step. If you like to have hardware advice for optimal use of Huygens, you can contact us via email or phone. I'd like to give you now a sneak peek of the most recent developments regarding stitching and fusion of light sheet data. With the current Huygens 1904 version, we released a new 3D interactive fusion tool. With this interactive tool, multi-view light sheet images can be manually aligned, after which Huygens performs a more accurate registration and fusion of the different views. We are now in the process of adding also stitching to this tool, so that both multi-tile and multi-view data can be restored to one single image. With a beta version of this new tool, we restored a multi-tile and multi-view dataset, which was acquired with a ZYZ1 light sheet system. Within one workflow, we performed both the stitching of the tiles and the fusion of the resulting two stitched views of a 40, half, four and a half day old chicken embryo. This finally resulted into one 3D image. Several customers asked us to implement batch stitching, and I'd like to address that here. This task is high on our to-do list. However, it has not been done yet. If you are interested in batch stitching, you can send us an email so that we can better prioritize our tasks. So that would be really welcomed. We have now reached the end of the webinar, and I want to thank the following researchers for sharing their data with us. I also like to point out the possibility of a free trial, and we also, of course, have more info about the Stitcher on our website. Finally, I want to thank you all for your attention. You have now the opportunity to send us questions. We can deal only with a few, unfortunately, but other questions we will address by email. So let's see what the first questions are. So let me start with the first one. Is there a tutorial available for using this Huygens Stitcher? Well, yes, we have on our website manuals and also introduction movies. You can find them under the support learning section on our homepage. Then the second question is, how can I test the Huygens Stitcher? Well, if you are a customer already, you can just send us an email and we will send you a test license for your current Huygens installation with the Stitcher option enabled. If you are new with Huygens or like to use it on your own computer, you can also install Huygens from our download page and send us a system ID. You will be prompted for the system ID after installation. Thank you again and we will address any further questions by email. Bye-bye.